for this study, what we propose uh, with some faculty members at Columbia University and people at the Ministry of Health in Chile was to bring together stakeholders, uh, including policy makers, uh, health managers, providers, also patients and family members to talk about how people um, are identified with when they are presenting the first symptoms, the first psychotic symptoms. Why that that's, is important? It's important because the sooner they receive treatment, the better the outcome will be. We know by, for a fact that people that don't receive treatment uh, in a timely manner, their outcome, the final outcome could be very, very bad. And we know that because many studies have been conducted in, in Europe, uh, here in the States, and in other high-income countries, but we know very little about the phenomenon in low and middle-income countries. So Chile um, is, is kind of like an exception. I'm from there, and now it's considered like a high-income country, but uh, well, it's not like that. <laughs> uh, it's more like a middle-income country, and it shares many common um, characteristic with, with other Latin American countries. So we are taking advantage of a unique opportunity because we are working with the Minister of Health um, who, and, and the head of the mental health department is very involved in our work. So that's why we, were, we are being able to bring together all these stakeholders as I, that I was talking about. Um, at, at the personal level, when I was a clinical fellow in Chile, I met this person who was hospitalized uh, at different times over his life. And one of the reasons why that person did not receive the treatment that uh, he needed was that he had no idea what to do, he had no idea where to go, and that person did not receive good orientation in terms of uh, from especially the mental health uh, providers or primary care providers. That person went to a primary care clinic and he was sent back home, uh, probably because many primary care providers don't have the skills and the knowledge to deal with these patients. So what we're trying to do is trying to identify different pathways to care, that's the way we call them, and see what happens when a person um, enters uh, the mental health system and we're trying to identify areas for intervention and see for example if we need tra to train primary care providers that could be a very concrete thing to, thing to do and obviously the Ministry of Health is quite interested in that kind of development because it's something easily to, tra easily to be transferred to mental health policies and what the mental health system the mental health um, the Ministry of, of, of Health uh, does. So right now we have conducted uh, two workshops because basically what we do is very simple. We bring together people and we start talking about I mean uh, what what know what people at primary care know about psychosis, what primary care what mental health providers uh, uh, mental health clinics know and what they do. And we're trying to identify processes where these people are not properly identified or referred to specialized services. We have conducted two workshops and you can see there to your left uh, some, some, some pictures. Uh, we, we had a very good time um, learning, really understanding how the mental health system works in Chile and I think this could be quite relevant for the country, but it could also be replicated in other Latin American countries, in other, in other um, 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 middle-income countries, but also here. I think the, the methodology that we are using is quite flexible and it allows people to discuss and to see, you know, not only at the scientific level, but also at the policy level, what we could do about this issue. So, thank you so much.